Hello, ladies and Germans, how are you all doing? This is Con Ulrich. And I'm Ren Roo. Hello, hello, hello. And we continue our coverage of the PDX Steel Division Normandy 44 tournament. We've seen yeah. some great play so far, haven't we, Ren? Yeah, it's just been a really exciting tournament so far. We're so in the early round. We haven't even got anywhere near to semi-finals or finals matches yet. But uh, there's a lot of matches still to be played. And, well, this tournament's going to be keeping us busy for quite a bit. So right before we get to the players, of course, we are on Omaha. And I do want to quick do a quick little plug. If you haven't checked out the last game, oh my gosh, it was a doozy. Oh, going yeah. on between, what were their names, Ryan? Do you uh, remember? AK Action Manables for Tundra and First. Yeah, that was uploaded on Thursday, I believe. And if you haven't seen that, we are plugging in that video because it's honestly one of the best cast chat we've seen. So this match has a lot to live up to considering we right now I pretty much just cast a chat like five minutes ago. True. True. Just guys, think of it. Think of it this way: if at first you don't succeed, try the other flank. Yeah, and try another flank, and then try the first flank again. You, you, you might as well. True. But let's get back to this one. So, Rang, who do we have today? Rang right on the left hand side in blue. We have Metallic as the six airborne, and on the right hand side we have Nicholas Frick as the seven sixteenth infantry division. Now, I know we definitely do a plug about the new theoretical units that we're going to be seeing out of Metallic. We're not sure if this is pre- or post-patch. Um, but let's just say that this one barely beat out a Canadian match as well between these yeah. two players. Uh, and I'm sorry, that would have been just as much fun for me to see as well. Yeah. We just, I, I, I personally want to see Six Airborne run because... Uh, I know, I really like watching Six Airborne play because it's, it's kind of a tough division to play in a sense mm -hmm. so I, I like seeing how players come around it because it's six airborne you just don't have that many units in terms of just unit numbers so trying to keep your guys alive to get to the end of the match is always a challenging part it raves the new units like you're talking about if this is hopefully a post patch match didn't mean to rhyme uh six airborne <laughs> we can see some ox and bucks which are like these rifle squads of two star patch and machine piatch but also nicholas if it's at a post-patch match, we can potentially see that 105mm German field gun. But uh, I guess we'll have to see once the match begins. And I do want to note we do have a Char B1 down south roll. So example, we're going for more of a even deployment. An even deployment? I see a, what, a kilometer, almost a kilometer and a half. Okay, oh, okay. Two, two and a half yeah. kilometers between the two, but... Uh... Good point, good point. You're right. We begin this map on Hedgerow Hell here. Um, a lot of investment in the northern part, and that makes perfect sense because of that town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that town's going to be a good fight in the air for Metallic early on. As really, for Nicholas, he, he has to rely on like Ostrupen and some Grenadiers, I believe, to really get him through. And uh, they're not great against paratroopers, I'd have to say. That seems about fair. Now... We are actually a couple of artillery pieces coming on out. Are those the new ones we're talking about there, Rang, or what? Uh, no, I think those are just the... Those are the old ones. So the Indeed. new ones for Nicholas can't come out till B-Phase. Exactly. Exactly. But we're out here now. Ostroop and Spam has begun. And this entire town's going to fall to the Airborne. It just... It, it, I don't see any reason why it would not. Yeah. Paras, close reins, Ostroop and... Not a good sign. Veteran C to boot, it's... It really goes down to the airborne run, and there's no fire support to back up the Osties, so they are really quite buggered. So I'm thinking Nicholas is really going to try and do something down south with his one Panzer B2. Yes, that seems like it's about accurate, and I think you're absolutely right. I think it's going to be Paris Dice up there in the north. Um, here's some Coldplay and everything, and those guys are coming right out of the smoke. <laughs> I had to. That was good. And these guys are coming out of the smoke right now, just dipping and dodging up those different houses here. Mm -hmm. uh, smashing mustache, by the way, on that airborne leader in the town. You should check him out. Hudson. Parsec, excuse me. Oh, Looking look rather good. smashing. I could have a dinner on that mustache. <laughs> a dinner on that mustache? <laughs> True. Another B2 is going to come up to the northern side, though, to support what is sure to be a collapsing German position. Those paratroopers just scuttling forwards. And they're going to do work. These, these, these B2s are going to be so important and so useful because, A, it's it has a pretty much a cannon or two cannons for infantry support. And number two, the Tetriarchs and rare AT guns are going to have a little bit of trouble dealing with that Panzer 2. So fortunately, even though Nicholas has... 
the most prophetic tank loadout of any division in game. It's, it's uh, still better it, than it, the airborne. <laughs> it's better than airborne any phase because tetriarchs are a bit um, a bit light, I'd say. Well, we are going to see this pack thirty-seven is going to get into action against the tetriarch, and this is going to be kind of funny. It's a pop gun against a toy car. Yeah, and I uh, tracks goes, are broken. <laughs> he's already broke uh, Metallic's toy, and the tetriarch. <laughs> unfortunately for the tetriarch, couldn't really do anything about yet. Well, more Austrian are going to be coming on in. It looks like some leaders coming down to the south. Uh, and we are seeing a very early pressure coming in off of Metallic. 55, 45. Not quite getting that plus two just yet, but I feel like he's just still feeling his way across the map. Yeah, just as long as he can get that plus run and hold it, and more specifically, hold on to the town areas, mm -hmm. he's good to go. Because fighting inside of towns is his main advantage. Sounds about right. Um, now, we are going to see those paratroopers are getting just absolutely pounded. Not even pounded, necessarily, but hounded by the mm -hmm. artillery back in the 716th. Is that going to give a good enough fire support for the Germans to make an assault? Oh yeah, for sure. Those uh, 14, 19 guns are pretty decent. They can give long range, rather long range fire support, considering the airborne can really only get mortars during a phase. But for this match, Nicholas's artillery is going to be a very important role as the 716th is all about the Atta Road War 1 artillery spam. Now, I am a little bit concerned actually for the German push to the north, not just because we have a little John coming on out. Don't let the name fool you. In real life, really quite big. <laughs> <laughs> I had to in that one too. But also yeah, because the, yep. the, sni the sniper play up here is going to be. Uh, difficult, I would say, to deal with. And as you can see right now, yeah. the airborne snipers have still have a beautiful post. Oh, yeah, because the, the tanks can't really have a perfect angle on it. And yeah, he just snipes anyone that gets a bit too close to the town. Yeah, I'm thinking this Tetriarch, once the smoke fades, uh, he can easily pop out Panzer P2. If he gets the first shot off. And yeah. they're both one star veterancy, so I don't know who might get that first shot. Yeah, and I, I don't know. Well, there's a Shrek squad here as well. When I say Shrek squad again, like we saw in a previous game, just one man. Oof, oh, and he doesn't sniped. get the kill. Poor guy. Absolutely sniped, yeah. Down to the south. In the meantime, we are going to see this B2 down to the south. It's going to have better luck. Not a whole lot there to really fight him off. Mm -hmm. And indeed, that 57 mil, a six pounder, excuse me. It's a British deck after all not in the greatest of positions to engage him no it's really just covering that road which is that's a good place to cover of course because that's really the only way for tank to move through but if if nicholas is smart and he realizes or figures out that the six pounders yeah he should just keep his panzer two off the road for now at least oh it's just artillery yet because he's got a lorraine now i was gonna say i can see clearly now that lorraine is here that you are on Jesus Christ. And you know, we, we, we've been recording for a couple hours here, folks. So, yeah, I'm just going. I'm just going. It goes here. Oh, jeez. But uh, what do we got? So, okay, so B2 to the north, B2 to the south. And where's the artillery? Well, it's stuck in the middle. Yeah. I'll avoid any jokes on that one. Yeah, I, I'm thinking this artillery piece is going to be so, so important. Because all of the British stuff is very, very shocked. So just mm -hmm. having that pound at the soft British infantry will uh, definitely help out quite a bit in these infantry fights. We've also got to realize that Metallic will not be scaling well he scales well economically but in terms of infantry numbers, Nicholas once he gets to B and C he's got he's got the uh, Mamma Mia, Papa Pia here comes the Italian troop area. <laughs> True. I forgot about the uh, Italian Fiviliga. Mm -hmm. um... Italians are pretty decent infantry. The main thing is that he can just get he can just out infantry spam metallic into the later phases, so it's gonna be very important for Metallic to keep his infantry alive. True. True. So the question is who is going to be swearing? Will it be Metallic or will it be Nicholas? Yeah, so Metallica's infantry are gonna be wanted dead or alive. <laughs> They're going to see a pair of uh, Panda 35 H's coming on in as well. So the French tanks continue to give the English some issues. Yeah, and that, okay, the H model, that is. Like, we hardly see the H model. It's always the R model, but, I mean, you know, it's it's, it's, it's still a tank. 
And now the Tetrarch is going after the Austrupin to the north, and I don't think... Yeah, Panzer B2 is not quite able to see that offensive, offensive ally tankage. Um, one thing that's kind of always been a turnoff for me in terms of the 716th is the lack of infantry anti-tank. It just it frustrates me way, way too much. I, I can't ever play a group that has zero oh, Fausts. Yeah. Well, the Italians have one, yeah, I believe. But when does it come is. in? It's until B phase. Exactly. So yeah, A phase, I know what you mean, because same with 352nd, you don't really get many infantry Fausts. I, I, it's so useful. Even though infantry AT weapons are short range, it's much better to have some sort of AT weapon. And your opponent realizing, hey, I can literally park my tank in front of your infantry, and there's nothing you can do about it. Yep. Yep, it's like a condom. You may not use it, but if you ever find yourself without one, you'll want it. <laughs> Holy... That is such a good analogy to infantry AT weapons in this game, Tom. It is. It is. Or, or like a rape whistle. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's going to NSFW. Anyway! <laughs> oh, whatever. I mean, they're um, thrown in this game. 90 seconds coming uh, into the next phase here. We're going to see a big, big push of Metallic coming down to the south. Uh, Anti-air infantry galore. And that B2 continues to kind of maraud forwards, which is kind yeah. of funny. It's good position, and he's not planting it on the road, which is a smart move. Indeed. Indeed, although the 57 mils, he, he, I think you can see him now. Oh, yes, he can. He, Bouncing yep, rounds. Bounce. Time to retreat. I think, I think he's just going to return fire. Um, I'm not sure it's the best idea here. I don't know, it does have that 105 or Ooh, 75 mil. good point. And actually has the other infantry in support, so this could be... Oh, wow. Look at that smoke from the gritty That was such good micro here. I mean, he, he could have really stayed for the fight, I think, but that was a smart move. True. In terms of... I, I, just, like, I just like a little tactical play. So hats off to Nicholas Frick for yeah. giving us a little bit to think about there. Yeah, I, I never... I know, personally, I, I never really use the smokes on the Grenadier Furies. I just... I never think about it. I'm never, I'm not really much of a smoker myself anyway, so I just don't ever really find myself using them. I probably I, should. Just, I really, 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 really don't like his AB power blob down south. I was just wondering, when are we going to get a 105 shot over there? Yeah, or somebody, or Again, you have me doing it now, 75 mil. Yeah, no, it, it, I know. Okay, yeah, well, he's, he's the, not, it's going to be a long rain. time before he gets Oh, rain. yeah. That's sexy right there. Gosh. Oh, God. That's okay. This is, what makes this really painful is this is like forty percent, thirty-five percent of all the AB powers that he can get. And remember when I said before, keeping infantry alive is really important. This is not keeping them alive. True, true. And he's losing his his, his um leadership as yeah. well. Machine gun going down the center. So Oz troop and spam is yeah. shockingly enough doing rather well against this. I did not expect this kind of turnout at all. This is definitely a time not to hold until relieved. This is a time where you run away. Although we are going to see ourselves a Cromwell coming on in, and that will cause a lot of problems for oh, the yeah, Germans in the south. Now. Yeah, that, that Cromwell is going to be a good counter to that B2, and hopefully you can relieve the powers. By the way, um, B2, excuse me, 35H did go down to the north. My guess is to the Tetrarch, but I might be wrong. I did a little John. And oh, um, it's been weapon damage. That's not uh, that's whoa, not good. Whoa, what? Yeah. Oh, wow. Charge it. Run away. <laughs> Something. Guys, let him start to re retreat. That'd be great. Uh, B2 in the meantime continues to start lofting rounds down. Yeah, that airborne blob down to the south. They've lost going be two thirds in just a second. Yeah, two thirds are down. Yeah. That is huge. That's uh. That's not good, and considering the six airborne well, air landed infantry they can get, uh, well, terrible to say the least. I was like, you don't, you don't really want to be, yeah, completely. Like, I, I hate air, I, I hate air landed so much. Khan. They, 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 they look at it and you're like, okay, it's got a machine gun, it's got a PA, it's got a submachine gun at least. It can't be too bad, but you use it and it's terrible because it's seven, it's a seven man squad that's True. trying to be a rifle squad. That doesn't have enough firepower to do anything. True. But then again, they're there just to guard, like, the yeah. actual landing zones themselves. So yeah. they're not really there to be real troops. So it's like no. rear echelon guys and co. That's perfect way to describe him. But once you run out of your AB powers, they end up becoming your front echelon. And that's, uh, that's never good. 
You can't True. just you can't just give them two M nineteen nineteens and go to town. Also accurate. Ooh, M fifty excuse me, fifty seven mil in the south goes down. We have a bunch of Cromwells coming on out. Infantry variants and one real tank, and that's it. Yeah. That's uh, I mean you can literally buy Cromwell minutes, so it does make sense. And also considering that Nicholas is one reason is, is tanks. Even though he can get some nice AT weaponry. I mean, he's got a more to run coming on down south to try and deal with this sort of tank push. But I think the Cromwell is going to be able to do quite a bit of damage as there's no real AT to stop him at the, at the moment. Now, where's that Martyr going? Martyr's not really shifting anywhere. Yikes. Right. This P I don't like this B2. Okay, good. B2 gets right behind that force for half a second. Now he's going to find himself getting flanked. Yeah. No. 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 Stay alive! I will find you! No, okay, Martyr, Martyr is firing at the wrong Cromwell. But at least he's going to kill one Cromwell at least, and the Cromwell is going to be firing back, and effectively, because... Yeah. HE damage and the Mortal Run has Still, less armor, you know, yeah. half track. Heck, it has less armor in a Panzer Run. Yes, well, think about it, it was an open top. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it is literally just a... It is a... It, it, it's, it's, a, a it's a pack run. 40 on top of it, basically. Yeah, I'm... I'm the Germans like doing that a lot, you know, you just got like a Panzer 1, 2 or 3 and they just, you know, slap hey, on a pack 40 on top. I mean, dude, it's it was idea. cheap. It's exactly what you had to do. And it, it's it's what they had to do, Khan. Yeah. They yeah. ran out of options. <laughs> well, that's why you start seeing a lot more Stugs in the other part of the actual war, yep. because Hatches. you could go four Stugs to one cost of one P4. Yeah, because you didn't have to pick up a turret. And surprisingly enough, the whole turret system is kind of expensive to make. True. Well, moving parts, ball bearings, everyone out there has watched Memphis Bell. You know that's important. Mm -hmm. uh, but getting back to this for a moment, we're back to 50-50 split. As I've kind of theorized, that sniper up to the north is almost Winchester. And, oh, never mind. He's down to half a munition. It's almost down to a third. Yep. But he's just getting himself crazy amounts of kills. Yeah. I mean, and these pioneers moving on in. Ooh, attack, boys. Attack. You have to build the Lidungs for a reason. Assault. Yeah, there's only an AB leader here to stop him right now. we got some more British reinforcements coming in to uh, reinforce, but... That sentence uh, got away from you, didn't players. it? Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Artillery is being levied at this sniper now, so... Uh, were I him, I would consider a different line of work pretty quickly. Yeah, or, you know, run away. True. Very, very true. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen, though. Yeah, looking at the points, so Metallic is in the lead, but Nicholas is slowly trying to catch up. You know, Metallic now we've got the 0-0-50-50. Uh, the zero, zero, it's just going to be a bit tough for Metallic. I'm thinking what would help him to start investing in is to get some airplanes out. Because the airplanes are really going to be the major advantage to try and stop any 716 plays. Also, considering this is a bit of a chug. Wait, 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 wait. Go back to the north. Pioneers are going to just completely wreck oh. those troops out in the street. No, unload, Boom. unload, unload, unload. Boom! Oh, damn. Their landing troops are going to get completely shrecked. Slam dunk. That is a, that's actually a big thing. It doesn't sound like much, but geez, now there is a lot less support there. Now is when you rush forward. You have to know there's nobody else there. Yeah. Even, even if, you, if you, if you, if you, bloody hell, I can't speak. Even if you think there's someone there, yeah, like you said, you got the, uh, what do you call them again? Uh, Gebota Ledungs. Gebota Ledungs. Yes. Do I deal with any French? Um, bundle grenades, that's the important bundle thing. Bundle grenades, yeah. Yep, yep. If, if, I mean, if you just got one grenade, why not just get a bunch and... <laughs> Tied together. More must be better. I agree with that sentiment. <laughs> uh, let's also note that down to the south we have a Bofors and we have um, a oh my gosh, a seventeen pounder Post way them. to the back. But that's that's not going to be anywhere near worthwhile. It's not going to do anything for quite a bit of time. Uh, no, 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 no. It's really not. And really, Nicholas, he's playing this right. He's artillery spam and the hell out of metallic. It was two Lorraines. Scary units to deal with, because that's 27 HE, that's almost an Avra shot coming at you indirectly. True. And can, like I said, all the metallic stuff is lightly armored. Uh, Cromwell does go down up north to a mortal run. It's, uh, it's and the Tetrarch tough. goes down as well. Yep. Little John finally bites the dust. Oh, that was and one of them. Isn't the other one still on the field? Uh, no, where did he go? I guess he died. Yep. 
I don't know. I feel mm. like I've been the same run, maybe. Oh, no, there were two on the field. There's one in the center and there's one up north. My bad. Nope, oh, there we go. Finally, a mosquito. Plane, and really, the planes for metallic. He, he needs planes. He, need, he needs to bomb the crap out of everything. I hope he has a path plane to run his deck. No, he's just running right now. Oh, wait, why is not Because there's a uh, ME109 on there. Oh, okay, yeah. With with the 20 mil cannons, I would run too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I would... I, I, I wouldn't have... Okay, I kind of would have, but it would have been a good thing to risk, because that's just... That's a crappy 109. Yeah, true, but when you're a ground attack fighter... Yeah, well, also you can... You can outrun the 109 of the Mosquito. Well, as Barely, the name would suggest, but... it's just annoying, really. Yeah. Uh, it's a bloodsucker. I mean, I think Gobel was in, like, um... Is that what you called it that? I have no idea. No, no, Gobel, I remember, like, uh, some speech Gobel said, where the Mosquitoes were really the plight of the German people because they couldn't they couldn't intercept them with their planes. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, because, yeah, whatever. Wouldn't wonder. Pioneers, by the way, continue to be quite an issue. There are three squads of air landing troops, and it, it kind of boggles my mind that this B-2 is not just completely shelling the road, but I guess he's afraid of being caught out by some sort of air, excuse me, um, oh. anti-tank weaponry. Yeah. That's probably it, and damn good hit. Okay, um, well, okay, really just knocked out Grenadier if you're by a little bit, but yeah, he really sort of got the pioneers. I agree. It's a with little him. bit too long on the shot. And the Grenadiers, in the meantime, in the center part of the field, going up against AB Grens, and never mind about that, but AB Grens, and, who are uh, almost out of ammunition as well. Ooh. Yeah. That's not good. And this is part of the match where Metallic runs out of infantry and we're not even into sea phase. Indeed. Indeed, we get another 60 seconds, 50 seconds for that. So we're almost through. But look at the south. He has no infantry to the south. He has one coming in right now. That's it. That's it. He's got a 17 pounder to stop his German attack. And that's not going to do much once the Lorraine's find out it's yet. Well, there is a um, off map already coming on in. And the snipers continue to cause issues. They're almost out of ammunition. Mm hmm. So you might as well just fire as much as you can and then die, uh, yeah, which sounds terrible, but... Yeah, 380 mil, uh, three more squads of landing troops are coming in. Yeah, that's a, that off-map artillery can definitely change the tide up north, because... Uh, that's, that's, those are some big explosions, and the Germans are very cramped up. But at the same time, the British don't have too much to really counter-attack with. I mean, mm -hmm. got some air landings, but you already know what I think about air landings. True. Very true. So we're into phase C now. So if we were going to see the new squads, I imagine we would have done that by now. Yeah, I don't bit. think it's. Uh, I think it's not a pre-patch match. So no ox and bucks today, guys. Yeah, Sorry. That's, that's the same. Ox and I, I really want to see some ox and bucks, but whatever, whatever. Yep, guys, you have heard it correctly. Rang is a bucks man. <laughs> Air landings continue to be pinned down, just completely savage, and nothing in this area is unpinned, I think, really, except for... Nope, snipers are dead. Yep. And the new air, newly arrived air landings are just getting <laughs> stunned up immediately. That B2 is in the perfect spot to shoot anything that comes down the road. And that uh, flak wheeling behind it is in a perfect position to pin anything that comes down behind that. Exactly, you've got the uh, double Oof. cover. There's that uh, off-map already, though. That's, That's juicy. Um... Yep, and look, all the German units now pinned down, but also all the British units are pinned down, so they can't take advantage of it. True. Very true. Mosquito oh, comes on in, bombs away. Nope, nope, there we go. Surprisingly modest damage. Yeah, uh, once again, a little bit too long, sort of, try to get the pioneers. Well, let's, let's also note, by the way, we have another Martyr 1 down to the south, so that new uh, Cromwell that's coming on in is not going to want to get too close. I mean, there yeah. still is... Oh, no, a second Cromwell coming in. Okay, so we have two more Cromwells, but more, in this case, is not going to be better. No, no, especially when you got two mortal runs on the field, in an open field, and you have no support. And the Lorraines are just starting to really, really work over what remains yeah. of the dregs of the 6th Airborne position. And we've got another Cromwell, but uh, still not going to be enough, in all honesty. Very, very true. 17 pounder went down actually. I didn't even see that go down. My guess is artillery killed that yep, too. Lorraine got it. Uh, and, uh, she is a heartless bitch. 
<laughs> yes, yeah, so what I mean about six airborne, they just run out of infantry, and this has been the problem with Botanic. He he was very raceful early on, especially with like EB Paris down south, and you can't afford to be raceful with your six airborne dudes. You you've got to be very very conservative. Only pick fights where you know you can win without taking too many casualties, or you end up like a bridge too far. Well, wasn't that the that's the first airborne, wasn't it? The Red Devils. I probably, but I might be wrong. I'm just I'm trying to think of it as of right now. Well, well, well. Really, if you think about it, Sean Connery was in the longest day, and he was in like the six. Oh, no, he was in the Scots. God damn it! I was gonna say he was in the six airborne, but no, that's another actor. But also, Sean Connery was in the airborne, dude, and the bridge too far. So it, they, there was a connection in a sense. But you got me. Uh, he he who was that Scottish dude who said some things. And, do anything. That guy, by the way, was a boss. You should look up his actual history. It was ridiculous. Okay. Um, love it. Lord, love it. Uh, yeah. anyway, Italian Freevilliga are hitting the map. You do seem to the south. They are backing up, although not really aggressing on this Cromwell, which is a bit of a mistake here. Yeah. Yo. Yeah, yeah. I think a little bit out of range to potentially knock it out, but I'm thinking it's B2 might might get the kill. Well, he's coming around. And I just want to know, he kept both B2s alive in C-Face. They, yeah, he... they haven't died. Yeah, let's give Frick a lot of credit here. He's been playing yeah. an excellent game with the 716th. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's been playing a War of Attrition. And he is winning at War of Attrition. Well, against a, against a group, like you said, that runs out of infantry very quickly. Yeah. He, he definitely picked his battle correctly. He, he played the battleground correctly, for that matter, yeah. as well. Jeez, he's going to approach... A victorious status pretty darn soon. Oh, Free Villager coming in behind the Cromwell. Oh, they're deactivated. <laughs> Be very, very quiet. Here it comes. <laughs> and there it goes. There we go. Boom. And plus two. There's the plus two. So major victory as opposed to a minor coming on through now. And I don't think the three, the Willie's OP up north. I don't know. It looks like there's a lot of strikes down there. So he might have been able to drop off more than one artillery barrage. Yeah. But I could not say for sure. But this is. This... Just look at the map, just the mini map. It has a lot of red squares, but not True. a lot of blue squares. Tempest, by the way, taking out one of the ME 109s. Um, it's a bit of a shocker there, but uh, not too surprising, all things considered. <laughs> we've got one, like, we've got like, one or two AB Bren groups still alive. Well, for the paratrooper forces the, initially, but. The Martyr, by the way, took down the other Cromwell. Oh, damn. Yep. Yeah. And, uh,. I mean, you can't afford to lose the infantry, and you also can't afford to really lose your tanks, because he's lost, like, four Cromwell so far. Finally, we've got the multi Pathfinder. I mean, they're probably not going to be able to do too much at this point, but you can drop some hot mixtapes. True, but especially if he goes after the LEFH, he is going for it, and he misses, misses. completely. Yeah, that was... Damn, he, he, he's been missing quite a bit of his airstrikes, especially when he needs them to hit to win... Desperately, you're absolutely yeah. right. Because these are, these airstrikes are extremely critical to kids winning of the match, his advantage. And as you saw before, up north in the town with the Moddy Pathfinder down south, they've been a bit too right. I don't know if there's any more artillery strikes on that OP, but the OP is dead, so we are not yeah. going to see anything. I think and... that was the neighbor earth that killed it, maybe. Oh, oh, wait, wait, the the ramen. The the, the ramen. The oh, tank. Oh, I'm still having a problem finding that Ruff ramen. It's, it's, there it's we go. It's underneath the B2. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. That we're looking at the baseball diamond of death. Um, <laughs> sounds about ramen. right. Oh, hey, a challenger's coming in. A new challenger appears. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, not that's maybe, gonna do anything, but no, it's it's probably not. The Mimora one's going to get its first shot, for sure. That sounds about right. Um, I have to remember. Oh, yeah, it's a 1,200 meter range. Yep. But Ostrupin are still closer up to the front. And look, uh, Mimora one's going to get first shot. And... Oh, Doesn't wow. quite kill. But the the that's Challenger fine. got the better stun hit, so... But Mimora can just back off. So there we go. I do want to also note, by the way, um, not the Tempest coming in, nor the uh, uh, airstrike coming to the north, but 
the airstrike being utilized to hit one artillery piece, I think, might have been a bit of a waste. Yeah. I mean, the problem with airstrike and artillery is I wouldn't really do it unless you got eyes on. Because by the time you see the tracers or the, all the rounds coming in, and you can, like, kind of try and not triangulate, but you know where the position comes from roughly, you can read the artillery is coming in correct true true by the time you realize that call in the plane it flies over and drops it bombs he might have moved and you don't have any visual feedback to know if you're doing a good job knocking out your artillery or if you're just wasting ammunition really if you want to kill artillery just get your own artillery it's 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 a much safer bet as you're really just wasting ammo instead of wasting valuable plane. resources yeah but yeah also considering that a plane takes much longer to rearm and refuel where an artillery piece and just keep shooting as long mm -hmm. as you feed it juicy juicy high explosive ammunition it's much better just to try and counter battery instead of a bomb battery a couple of things by the way we do see a flak 41 is out in the field now ah out i mean just behind um i mean and, and that was actually excellent it kept that mosquito yeah at bay I mean, it's really the uh, the Flag 41s are the one of the signature units, really, for the 7th and 16th. I, I'm, I'm honestly not surprised that we haven't really seen it till now, because really, in this stage of affairs, it's really only useful as an anti-aircraft unit. There's no real areas where it can be useful as an anti-tank unit, because, you know, all the tanks keep getting killed. This sounds about right. We are going to see, it looks like a victory column coming down to the south. Two B, Panzer 35Hs. And the B2. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm really surprised of how much he's using his little friend's tanks, personally. And I how effectively, think, too, for that matter. Yeah. I, I, for me, for my 7th, 16th, I just take two Panzer B2s in my tank tab and nothing else. But he's using his Panzer 35Hs and more B2s and he's making it work. Sorry, here we go. Indeed he is. Are more bombs coming down, trying desperately to hit that artillery park. Yeah, he freaks him out a bit. But, once again, that might have been a better, you know, hint some infantry killing something instead of just taking something out of the fight for a minute. The problem with that, though, is that if he doesn't go for it, I mean, there's so much anti-air here. Mm -hmm. Flak Vierlings, we have the Flak 38, or oh, the 20 mils in the back of that half-track. With the Flak 31s, um, we have two of them, actually. So two 88 yeah. mils. In the middle part of the field, that yeah. that's that's air cover right there. Yeah, and also considering, you know, yeah, power is metallic, so only card. <laughs> no, uh -huh. no, it's an actual anti-air net. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's completely negated. Look, it's multi-pathfinder. Barely going to be able to drop the bombs before it gets stunned up. And, oh, oh wow, I, saw, I thought explosions. I was like, wait a second. Okay, never mind. But he actually gets a good hit on the flag, but... But you know what? He could afford to lose that entire anti-air position and really not find himself compromised. Yeah, and also it has trove HP, so it's it's not a big deal. He's bringing a third one in. Oh, so yeah. Why not? He, he refuses to just even allow the possibility of it. Yeah. <laughs> and now, pissed off, what does he do? He sends a Typhoon AT after that B2. <laughs> and it, it, didn't, it didn't get the kill. And that, I'm, I'm really surprised the B2s have stayed alive. The entire, entire I, game. I may be, personally, I may be able to keep them alive till like, the end of A phase. And then I'm a bit dumb and lose it to like a, like a dumb AT gun or a bazooka. But real props up to keeping his inferior friends tanks alive. So the B2 is pretty awesome. It, it, it's a fun gimmicky unit. Yes, it is. Now, he does go and try to throw down bombs after take out a couple of units. He does freak out a couple of pioneers, but the damage has been done. Yeah. So hats off to Nicholas Frick. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I... I this is how you play the 716th. It was yeah. helped about his opponent's uh, divisional choice, of course, but this is how you play the 716th. Yeah, 716th is really... It is a World War One division. Uh, that's all like gimmick behind it. So it really comes down to a war of attrition. And you can just get so much infantry, flat guns, and artillery pieces. That even though you don't really have that much in terms of tanks, you pretty much have World War 1 tanks to fall back on. True. You're, uh... 
in a long protracted fight. Nicholas didn't do too well early on, but once he got to B and C and slowly beat Bat Metallic, he's now just completely dominating the field. Slowly, but surely. Indeed. Indeed. And, and really, let's give, give a quick call out to the MVPs of this match. Um, these Lorraines have been here the entire time, and they've butchered. Yeah, I want to see the KD film real fast. Cause they're Shockingly, probably... only 2-1. to one. Okay, I understandable. I can see that. They've, they've knocked down Port on target, and also, it's not just the kills, but it's about the stuns. Also true. Very, very true. Look at Panzer B2, Alexander. He's a... Uh, he, he killed half of the AB powers by himself. Oh my god! Yep. That's, that's half of the AB powers that he could bring up, just gone by a 1B2. And that's what I mean about the racefulness of uh, Metallic's unit, yeah. Well, and one martyr, by the way, killed three Cromwells. That's, uh, that's really good, considering you can only get, like, four, maybe five Cromwells in a 6 on deck, so... That's well, half of the Chrome Rails gun. Meyer, by the way, this is that Pioneer squad that was up north with the Cabalta Ledungs. Um, and when the, the trucks came through, yeah, he was part of that ambush team. That's just brilliant. Yeah, damn, knocking out all the airline engines and kills. Six Airborne, nothing too much. The naval battery knocked out a bit. Quite a lot of infantry, but nothing too much. KD is like a thousand point difference. Yeah, 1, two to one. 900 point difference, mm -hmm. exactly. And just quickly looking at the history con, I know it's pretty yep. even early on. Germans taking a bit more of the losses, but once you get B phase, the AB powers just start dropping like flies. Yes, and all they the do. leaders, and then it's just the airlines and it's just blue and the victim list in yeah, on out. Except for some pioneers getting killed by off map artillery, but yeah, yeah, uh, really just good playing. I wouldn't say 716th is like the best division to play. It definitely has the weakness of if you get artillery, you're buggered. But mm -hmm. Nicholas picked it well for the right map against the right division and used it very effectively. Indeed. Indeed. So, guys, as a quick reminder, of course, with that win, uh, Nicholas Frick was going to go on. We did not show the other games in this particular series, but I think he pulled out a 2 0. Yep. Is that right? 2-0 again. It's been a lot of 2-0 so far, Khan. No, That's hasn't true. been a best of three yet. That's true, but guys, don't let that fool you. 2 zeros does not mean these games have not been excellent. Be sure to continue checking out our, our constant coverage of the PDX Steel Division tourney. Um, as we move forward through these next weeks, it's it's been a hell of a ride already, and I, I hope Brango will agree with me to say it's going to be a hell of a ride moving forward. Yeah, and we've still got a bunch of matches yet uh, on the ray. But all right, um, that'll about do it for my side. How about you, Rang? Yeah, I'm good. All right, folks, in that case, we'll see you next time for more Steel Division. This is uh, Con Ulrich. I'm Rang Roo. Take it easy.